Hello and welcome back to part 15 of this Tekka tutorial series. Today we're going to be upgrading our machines to the next level and going over some fancy things like teleporters and Tesla coils. So we'll get straight in there with an induction furnace which is made by reusing your electric furnace, uh, surrounding it with a, some copper bars and putting an advanced machine block at the bottom. And the advanced machine block is just a machine block with some carbon plates either side and some advanced alloys. You'll need quite a lot. You'll need quite a lot of these for this tutorial, as well, yeah, most of the machines that we're going to be making need them. And now, as you can see here, this rotary macerator, which is the next thing, is uh, is bugged for some reason. The, the texture it hasn't loaded. I don't know how to fix this, so I'm just coping with it at the moment. So to make a rotary macerator, which is the next thing, you can recycle your old macerator, turn it by refined iron and another advanced machine block at the bottom. So the next thing to, we can make is a centrifuge extractor and a singularity compressor. So to make the, the centrifuge extractor, which is just recycling your extractor, surrounding it by electrolyzed water cells and putting an advanced machine block at the bottom, this will get you your centrifuge extractor. And then you can make your singularity compressor, which is recycling your compressor, uh, putting an advanced machine block at the bottom and surrounding it in obsidian blocks. So the next thing we're going to make is we're going to make a teleporter. Now, for a teleporter you'll need three frequency transmitters because you'll need one for each teleport block because you'll need one and go backwards and forwards. And you'll also need... An, um, so to make them, it'll be some electronic circuits and some copper cable. Simple as that and you'll get these little transmitters. And to make a teleporter, you need to put advanced circuit in each corner, put two glass fiber cables on the side, advanced machine block in the middle, and a diamond at the bottom, and one of the transmitters you made at the top. And this will get you a teleporter block. And you'll need two of these if you're going to go backwards and forwards. So the next thing we're going to make is a tester coil. Now these are relatively cheap. Some refined iron in the bottom two corners, a normal circuit in the middle and the bottom, a top, top rows redstone and the sides are redstone, and in the middle you've got an MV transformer, which is just some gold two times insulated cables and a machine block in the middle. And these are really handy and I'll show you why in a second. Now first of all I'm going to show you how to set up these machines. Now they're exactly the same as their counterparts so this macerator can be destroyed and be replaced with the other macerator and I can't tell which one it is because they all look the same because of the broken textures. So it's this one here. So you put this in. Now if I right click this you'll see here it's got a speed in RPM. Now as, as long as it has power you can put a redstone, oh it's fixed, okay that's good. Uh, you can put redstone or power it over a lever and as you can see the speed will go up and the, the higher the speed the faster it'll break things down. And it has two slots so you can put two different things in so you could put iron in, let's see if I can get some iron and some gold. So I could put some iron in here and some uh, gold in there and some iron in there and as you see and the output will come out as one block of iron uh, not one block, some dust even two of each. So there's there's the... I must only do one? Ah, I see. If they're the same so if it was two stacks of iron it would give you... it would smelt... it would macerate all the iron first at the same time. And so next thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this furnace with our induction furnace. So whack this in here. And as you can see this has also got heat and this, the maximum for this is 100% and I should, I should say the maximum for this other one is 7500. And basically the hotter this gets the faster it will smell. So if I just go and quickly grab some of this stuff over here. Get some of this. Now, as you can see it's getting quite fast now. That's pretty good. And it's, the, and it's got two two slots as well, just like the macerator. And it'll go pretty slow at the beginning. Your old electric furnace will be um, quite slow as well. But it'll get faster as it heats up. So the next thing we're going to replace is... Is this the compressor? No, this is the extractor. So the extractor will just swap out. And as you can see it's also got speed. Uh, 7500 has been the highest again. And this will extract things. Uh, it has three outputs, so you can pump in 
well, only one thing with this, but it will store three different outputs. So you could extract resin to get rubber, and then water cells to get electrolyzed water cells, or whatever they're called, coolant cells, I should say. And finally, we'll move on to this next one, which is the final one, I believe. Mark this down. This is a singularity compressor, and it compresses one one input, one output, unfortunately. So it's not amazing. But what can you do? So the next thing we're going to look at is the teleporters. Now these are really easy to set up. I'm going to do the, the, uh, the output first. Not the output, but the exit, or where I want the exit to be. Now, what you have to do is you have to connect them directly up to an MFSU. They have to be directly next to one. They can't have cables to it. Cables will not connect. So MFSU connected to a teleporter, and then it has power. And then it has to have a switch next to it. And then you can just flick the switch, and it'll teleport you. Or a button. A button will probably be easier. Now, if you get your uh, transmitter out, I can't remember what it's actually called, uh, frequency transmitter, and you right-click it, it will say frequency transmitter linked to teleporter, which is good, that's what we want. And now if I fly to my entrance over here, sit, I've got the same thing set up, MFSU with some power in it, nearly full. And I've connected this up, and I get my, my transmitter out, and I right-click again, it'll say link established. So now, if we right-click this lever, we're now over here. And now this will use varying amounts of power. Depending on, um, ah, dear, where, where on earth am I? I'm over here. It will use varying amounts of power depending on how much you are carrying in your bags, what kind of armor you're using, stuff like that, you know? So if I just leave this on. Ah, okay, so that, that won't work, okay. Something new I've learned there. The, uh, the lever will have it permanently turned on, whereas you want it to have to be a button. So I'd suggest uh, wiring up... I wasn't even close to it. I suggest wiring up a um, a button. And I'll be going... I'll be starting the red power. Yay, everyone's happy. Next time. So that's what we'll be doing. And as you can see, I'm lagging quite a bit here. So, let me just fix this problem, quickly. So I finally managed to get my teleport to turn off. I would advise a button over a switch, as it seems that the switch just keeps it permanently turned on. So, the next thing we're going to look at is these tester coils. Now, these take a medium voltage transformer worth of energy, so if you're using high voltage you need to transformer it down, otherwise it will just explode, which is never good. So if you put this down, and as long as there's power going into this cable, I just need to swap to friendly mode, not friendly mode, but you know what I mean. And if I hit the switch, which will turn it on, you can see I take damage every now and again. And the more of these you have, the more devastating they are. Now if I didn't have armor on right now, I would be taking, I think it's four hearts worth of damage. Or may, maybe it's even more than that. I think it might be just instant death if you get hit. But what I can do is, if I put it on easy and get, say, a spawn egg of, uh, let's see, creeper. Creeper, that'll live in the day, won't it? Oh, ex that, oh that didn't work out well. One second. Right, so just ig ignore the hole and my bad choice of animals uh, to test this on. I'm going to use a slime. So I'm going to whack a slime down. And come on, slimy. Dead. Come on, baby slimes. Dead. So it's very good. Don't stand too close when you spawn in, because it doesn't prioritize over enemies. Dead. And I'll just ma massacre these. Dead. All right, so let me look how good that is. So, yeah, it, it will hit players as well, so it's great for... Uh, you, when you leave your house, you don't want to get robbed. Put one in your ceiling. Put a secret hidden switch somewhere. Whack that on. Anyone goes in your house, boom, dead. Unless they're wearing like the same armor as me, or the equivalent of the industrial craft side of it, which is the the quantum armor. This this is the magic side. Of this helmet stuff. I haven't gone over how it is yet. That's a surprise for later. So I know it's only been a short episode today. 
But there's there hasn't been really much to say. You know how macerators and things work, and compressors and furnaces and things. You know how they work. We've just upgraded them. Uh, telepods are pretty cool. Uh, they're very expensive power-wise, though, but we have a vast amount of energy now, as you've probably found out. And also with the Tesla coils. So, I hope you've learned a little bit here. Um, I don't know what I'll be going over next, but if you don't hear from me in the next couple of days, it's because I've got a virus on my computer that stops me opening any programs, which is very bad. So that's the reason I might not upload a video. So thanks for watching. There'll be a subscribe button at the top. Tell your friends. And I'll catch you next time, guys. See you later.